Hi, my name is Julia Buckingham. Please come inside. I'd like to welcome you all to my home, Three Star Ranch. I'd love to share with you my favorite things about preparing for a dinner party, which is actually the most important part, setting your table. So I'd like to show you what I've done, and I'm having a group of people over this evening that are very dear interior design friends, and um, I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. Let's head this way to the dining table. So Julia, tell us a little about this home. So this is a home, a mid-century home that we renovated. It was originally built in 1963. And um, it's my favorite, my favorite work of art to date because it had so much undiagnosed or undiscovered uh, potential. And we were able to take it and make it so bright and cheerful and um, hot pink lacquered floors. Uh, who has a problem with that? Not us. <laughs> Not me either. Tell us a little about the guests that are coming over. So I'm so excited. I have a group of designers from all over the country and we travel together to various destinations where we can't get our husbands or significant others to travel to. This is a group of women who appreciate all the same things that I do, mixing and matching of styles and eras when I entertain. The most important thing for me to have, oh, there's two things actually, for me to have at a dinner party is obviously a lot of color. It's my favorite five letter word. And also the opportunity to have sweets and eat things that make you so happy, which are kind of more decadent that we would experience or we would allow ourselves to eat every day. So you can see that the table is just brimming with all sorts of treats um, that we found locally and what goes better with wine than something really, 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 really happy and sweet. Okay, Julia, tell us about this table. So this is actually one of the coolest tables that I've ever seen. It is called the Circle of Life table. Every place setting has an individual glass circle. It's by the Design Institute of America. And I actually met the manufacturer's daughter at, at an event recently, and she told me how this has become so hard to find um, and so much more rare and so it will be staying in my family forever. So these exquisite beauties that are my centerpiece flowers, the Camelback Flower Shop is the most amazing place for flowers. All I did was say, hey, I'm having a, a dinner party for a bunch of colorful folks and we talked about the marigolds and the colors are just crucial to your tabletop. What are some items on the table you want to tell us about? Oh, oh. I didn't know you were filming. I'm sorry, I'm trying to eat the props. Um, so the most important thing besides the flowers, which we've already gone through, the perfect mixture of old and new, which is really what my design aesthetic is all about, mixing old things and making them feel more modern, repurposed. For example, I have these vintage chess pieces that are actually, I become my place card holders. Um, sometimes I do place cards, sometimes I don't. It really depends upon if people have a very, very, strong idea about who they should sit next to and then I always separate them. So sometimes I do that at the last minute. I had to have a little surprise for my friends. So I decided to incorporate a little interior design um, magic. I used some French, uh, antique French trim that I actually had gotten at a flea market in Paris and I tied all the napkins with that trim, uh, making it feel just a little bit more uh, one of a kind and special. I also am in love with these placemats. It's very hard to find round, round placemats. Um, these are actually made in Milan, but I was so excited when I went on to Matches Fashion, and I have to confess, I was looking at shoes, but I actually have found their home decor, and these placemats handmade and painted in Milan are just fantastic. It, it feels overwhelming to combine so many colors and so many textures on a dinner, on a dinner table, but when people sit down and, and have the opportunity to examine each piece, for example, um, I collect vintage sherbet bowls, and the colors of these vintage pieces is so magnificent and, and adds a little bit of color and an opportunity for some more sweets on the table. Julia, tell us, how do you start setting your table? Is it based on who's coming over or how you're feeling that evening? That is the best question because it's a little bit of both. 
It's definitely about a mood. Let's say I have the, the wine selected, I have some of the dessert selected, but I don't have all the tableware selected. So there really isn't any magic formula. So I would have to say that most of it is how I'm feeling that day, how organized I'm feeling, or I missed the boat on something and now I have to compromise. That's something that I'm, I'm, I do a lot, a lot of problem solving. Okay, Julia, tell us what you're pouring. I am serving today two of my favorite uh, bottles from my wine cult box. I am serving today the Sahale, and I'm looking forward to sharing uh, my favorite red, which is the Canto Sur, Canto Sur, Canto Sur, for my friends who are drinking red wine today. Finally, Julia, what are some tips that you would give first time entertainers? I would say that the first thing to remember is not to start drinking your favorite wine before your guests are starting to arrive. Because really, that puts you at a disadvantage for the rest of the evening. Believe me, I have tried that and I have, have uh, failed at that. So the other most important thing is just to have fun. It's really to enjoy. It's letting the dishes and the, the plates and the trays sit in the kitchen. Um, if you have to leave them overnight, it's okay, but enjoy your guests. And we really are so much more appreciative of our quality time with each other now that we've been through a pandemic and we really are appreciating who we can, who we can share um, our treats with. It's been my pleasure. I'm so excited to share with you my favorite things and with my favorite wine. And um, thanks again. <laughs>